Alrighty, hello there, Semonian here, and today we're going to be taking some eggs and making some HRT out of them. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to make ourselves some chemical. Alright, anyway, so first things first, uh, power generation, right? That's right, you have to have power your whole entire chemical processing plant here. That's right, so we got twin cooling auxiliary cooling towers here, four turbines, and two... Uh, combined cylinder gas turbines which are actually set to auto right now so they're automatically running as the grid needs which is pretty nice also you can disconnect like individual components from the grid so like let's say this one breaks down or whatever can just disconnect it with that and then this one will take over which it should actually ramp yeah but see it's actually ramping up since we did that that is so fucking cool <laughs> I'm such a freaking nerd. Anyway, let's let's get into it, actually. Over here we have our water buffer tank here. This is to you know, hydrate everything, because we have a lot of processes that need water. And we have our third auxiliary cooling tower here, which takes our low-pressure steam from our chemical factory, which we'll get into in a second here. That will take that and puts it back into water. <clears throat> Very nice. All right, then we have our chemical plant, which is actually doing quite a lot of things. It is actually making liquid hydrogen, which is needed for another process down the processing chain. It's making hydrogen peroxide, sulfur, sulfuric acid, actually. The sulfur you have to add in manually, of course. All right, so the sulfuric acid goes into this bulk tank here, which, of course, then goes out to that respective process as well. And then we have our hydrogen peroxide tank. So anyway, enough yapping on about the beginning of the process. Let's actually start manufacturing this. So first things first, we take our chlorocalcite ore here, the bedrock ore. We slap it in here, and it will turn into centrifuged chlorocalcite ore. That is a lot to roll off the tongue. Not even going to lie. But anyway, so that's going to transform into that. And then we take it over here to our ore acidizer, which takes our hydrogen peroxide, which is over here in this bulk tank right here. And then we pop that in there. Oh, in here, yes. I'm very good at my job, trust me. Very good at my job. We're just gonna go ahead and throw all those in there because we might as well, right? All right, so that takes that, and that will turn that, the centrifuge chlorocalcite ore into cleaned chlor... chlor ooh chlorocalcite ore. That's a lot to say. All right, so then we take our clean chlorocalcite ore, and then we take this in here and put it in our centrifuge to get separated chlorocalcite ore, which is pretty nice. So this is a great way of multiplying your uh, chlorocalcite. Look at that. So you get four for the price of one, which is pretty nice. And then you put it in here, which actually takes the sulfuric acid now that we made earlier. See, it all it all works together. You see, it, it's all one big process. And that will give us our purified chlorocalcite. Now we can take this, and we take it to our shredder here. If we spread it out, we can uh, grind up nine of them at one time, which is really nice to have. You want to spread it out, because honestly, that's more efficient than just putting in one single stack. And we take it to our second shredder here and do the exact same process which then will give us our chlorocalcite, which is what we need for our next process here, which involves the combination oven here. So we pop this in here, it will create chlorine gas and calcium powder. We don't really have to worry about the calcium powder. What we need is the chlorine gas, which will then go into this overflow tank here, which then runs up into here into this industrial mixer, which combines with reformant gas, and chlorine gas to create high-performance solvent. <laughs> this is a lot of chemistry terms. So then our high-performance sol solvent here goes into this bulk tank here, and this will shoot off into our fractioning tower here, and into here. So we, then we take our egg that we gathered earlier, we pop that in there, and that will go into our power to make our cholesterol solution. Now we're going to get back to this process here in a second. I want to show you the rest of the facility. 
So this is our catalytic... Oh, let's start from the beginning, actually. Let's not get sidetracked, actually. Alright, so first things first, power generation or A here. This flare stack is currently off, but you can turn this on to generate extra power if your grid, grid needs it. We have two bulk tanks, which are actually almost empty because, believe it or not, we actually go through a lot of fuel around here, which is why this thing has to keep running, like, constantly. And we're apparently overflowing on crude oil. That's crazy. All right, then we have our crude oil bulk tank here, which, you know, it collects all the crude oil and stuff for our other processes down there. Then we have our industrial boilers. We have two of these for the backup energy turbine here, which is not really doing anything at the moment because it's disconnected from the grid. Also with a, you guessed it, an auxiliary cooling tower. We just absolutely love the auxiliary cooling towers. All right, so then we go back over here. This is our fluid burner, and this is to make... Oh, Lord, I'm once again not at the beginning of my process. All right, so we take our crude oil from over here, which then goes into these compressors, right? We need to actually compress our uh, crude oil down, so we actually have to compress it down twice. So right here, it's uncompressed, and then we take it and put it to 1 PU, which I have no idea what that is. Uh, and then we take that and we press it into 2, which will then go into our vacuum refinery. Which actually needs to get rid of that. Okay, let me get some canisters real quick. All right, as I was saying, I will take that and put... I will take the... Uh... All right, so this obviously compresses it down and stuff and compresses that into something that the vacuum refinery can actually use. So now that that's working, it creates vacuum heavy oil vacuum light oil, reform it, which we actually need, and sour gas, which is actually getting used for yet another process, you guessed it, that is getting turned into the coker gas for one of the combined gas cylinder turbines. So anyway, that goes into here, this goes into, the sour gas goes into our coker, you know, which turns that obviously into coker gas, which then gets piped back into our system over there. All right, and now, now we got that. This is desulfurized, or I, yeah, I don't really know. Okay, yes, I forgot. What, yeah, that's for reformant. Okay, that's reformant gas. All right, so the hydro treater is used to make desulfurized crude oil and sour gas, which is something we also need. So that takes our hydrogen that we got from our earlier processes this is empty right now because which is fine because we're not actually needing any but that takes our hydrogen and puts that in here our compressed hydrogen and compresses it down and then puts it in here and then that will make desulfurized crude oils and sour gas which will get piped into you guessed it another process that gets piped into here to make a it actually gets piped into here, our industrial boiler, which then takes our desulfurized crude oil and turns it into desulfurized uh, hot crude oil, which will then pipe that out into our oil refinery, which then takes our hot desulfurized crude oil and all these other side elements and stuff and actually makes paraffin wax, which we actually need that. So believe me, all of that actually does have a purpose. All right, I think we can actually get into the process that we've all been waiting for. All right, so now we, we have our dissolved egg that we already put in here, and that will take our, we'll take that, turn it into cholesterol solution. So we input the dissolved egg, and I'll put the cholesterol solution and the high-performance solvent, which I'm not really worried about that. So then our cholesterol solution goes into here, which is our catalytic reformer, right? Yes. So that takes that. Our cholesterol solution goes gets to turn into estradiol solution, reformer gas, and liquid hydrogen. And then the estradiol solution gets transferred into the ore acidizer, which we have right here. And then you take your paraffin wax, toss that in there, and then you get yourself a little red pill. Honestly, I think this should be like a bluish green personally, but like, 
whatever. I'm not here to judge. I guess this is since this is boot like HRT. <laughs> you know. Anyway, so anyway, we're going to see what happens. Yep, it turns me into a femboy. That is crazy, chat. <laughs> all, of the, all, ten, all ten minutes of this video has been building up to this moment. That is crazy. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed learning how to make a DIY HRT in Minecraft, please like and subscribe, hit that bell below, and of course, happy Pride Month. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.